Thanks for purchasing Profoto 6. This video is going to show you how to get started using Profoto 6, and then give a quick tour to show you where various options in Profoto 6 are located and how certain things work. Don't worry if you miss anything, we'll have a link to a tutorial page containing this video at the end in case you need to watch it again. The first thing you'll want to do is head to the Profoto Manage Designs area. In this area, you will choose which design you'd like to customize for your site and which design is live or visible to the public. These two designs, the one you are customizing and the one that is live, can be the exact same design. Or they can be separate, which is helpful if you want to display one design to the public but be working on a different design at the same time. By default, the initial live design for your site is called Coming Soon. If you plan to work on customizing a new design behind the scenes without anyone seeing it, you can just leave Coming Soon as your live design. To modify the image and text used in that design, we have a tutorial here that shows you how to do that. To start working on a new design, you can select from any of the included designs by clicking Create New Design. Or, if you have purchased an add-on design, this is where you will upload it. Once you have a new design created, you can click to customize it if you want to work on it in private, or go live if you don't mind it being visible while you're working. If you're using our Test Drive plugin, your live theme will be visible until you stop test driving, so you'll click the green Test Drive button on the design you want to work on. In this Manage Designs area, you can create and switch between designs at any time you'd like to, so you don't have to worry about making your first design perfect. In fact, if you have the time, we suggest just starting with the design and playing around with it a bit to get used to the interface and how Profoto works. Then, later on, once you feel more comfortable, you can always come back here and start another new design. After you choose to customize your new design, our onboard guide will walk you through several steps for getting the design ready. First, you'll get to choose what the front page of your site displays, either your posts or a static page. Then, you can assign the design's default templates to existing pages in your site, or even create new pages for the templates. Don't worry, we'll explain what templates are in just a minute. And last, you can assign the design's default menu items to existing pages, or again, create new pages for the menu items. Be aware you can always access this guide again at any time by coming back to the Profoto Manage Designs area and clicking on the Setup button for your design. Alright, now that you're ready to customize your design, a quick tour of the main areas in Profoto. The area where you will likely spend the most time in Profoto 6 is the Layout screen at Profoto Customizer. Here is where you will customize the layout and look and feel of your site. In the upper left corner of the screen you will see a toggle switch which says Template or Design, which you can click to change. When Design is selected in the toggle, all of the options and customizations you see apply to the entire design that you selected to customize in the Manage Design screen. This design is also displayed at the top of the customizer screen for your convenience. But when the toggle is set to template, any change or customization made here only applies to the specific template that you are working in, which is also displayed at the top of the customizer screen. Templates are separate groups of layout and appearance customizations that are part of your overall design. Each design starts with at least one template, but you can create child templates for your design in the template manager in order to change your layout and appearance for different sections of your site. All of the templates you create in the customizer screen are saved to the Profoto design that you are customizing. In fact, a number of the designs already include multiple child templates that you can use for different pages and page types. These are what you will be assigning to pages when you use the onboarding guide for the design you have selected. To edit a different template in the customizer, all you have to do is select it from the drop-down list at the top. The layout of the templates you edit or create is made up of blocks, rows, 
and Columns. Inside of Columns, you can place widgets. There is one special column in your layout that represents where the non-widget content of your site will render. Blocks, rows, and columns can be added, deleted, and moved around. They can also have loads of customizations applied to them, giving you tons of flexibility. One important tip when designing your P6 site is to always try and make your customizations at the highest possible level. This means, for most changes, you should first try clicking the main template gear here and start customizing there. Things that you change at this level apply to all blocks, rows, and columns. Then, if you need to, you can use the edit icons on specific blocks, rows, or columns to override customization settings at a finer, granular level. So if you always try to make your customizations at the highest level, you'll find your design is easier to control and manage over time. There are loads of other options in the customizer for the design and templates, like menus, fonts, and tiles. So click around and get a feel for all of the options. Now, one powerful tool in Profoto that will help you out as you use the customizer is the Profoto bar, located at the bottom of the screen on your actual site. This bar, visible only to you as an admin, shows you the name of the design you are currently customizing and allows you to select a different one to customize if you would like. It also shows the template being applied to the page you're viewing. Additionally, it displays the current responsive breakpoint that your site is displaying at, which is helpful to see what the site looks like on various device types and for making customizations only for specific breakpoints. The bar also provides a super powerful inspector tool that allows you to navigate directly to any block, row, column, or widget located on the page you are inspecting. Just highlight and click, and you'll be taken to the exact element in the customizer that you are viewing on the front end of your site. Another area to be aware of is the Pro Photo Settings area, which gives you access to all of the settings for your site that persist across all designs and templates. These include things like analytics and social media integration, setting the email address where contact form submissions will be sent, word translation, and more. Let's quick check out the Galleries admin screen. Here you can create new galleries and view or edit previously created galleries. This is just like creating a post or a page in your site. You can embed these galleries directly into your posts or pages or incorporate them into your template layouts in the customizer by using a widget. Last, if you have any questions about anything, go to our site and click the support link. We have lots of tutorials that help explain all of these options in much greater detail. We also have a step-by-step -step getting started guide that you may find useful and that also includes this same video if you'd like to view it again. To view that getting started guide, just click here. We hope you enjoy using Profoto 6.